you guys i hope you guys are doing good today so for all your tea sipping needs make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net and if you are an amazon prime member feel free to go to amazon.com forward slash because somebody told me it was a forward slash and not a backslash um forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea that's l-o-v-e-l-y-t-e-a so go there for all your tea sipping needs please don't forget to leave us a review thank you guys so much for the support and enjoy this video coming right on up okay so now in other news honey okay i got some Nicki minaj tea for you guys there's been so much mess going on with Nicki minaj and this whole glam team situation with her firing kim kimball and so i just been sitting back watching all this fuckery unfold okay and now today kim kimball is responding but first i want to go ahead and break down to you guys what exactly went on okay Okay, so as we all know, Nicki Minaj has been looking like a disaster these last two awards show. A lot of people were clowning her BET look. They were not feeling that mullet. They were not feeling her outfit. And then recently at the VMAs, the MTV show, um, she had on like a swimsuit with like a sheer outfit. But then she had these really thin pigtails. So a lot of folks were going in on her. And I guess Nicki Minaj started feeling some type of way. So she decided to fire her entire glam squad. And as we all know, she's been working with Kim Kimball for the past few months. They were even on a magazine spread that kind of went viral. A lot of people were talking about Kim Kimball because she looked really bad during the spread. Um, it looked like she was Nicki's slave or some shit people were saying. So they've been working together for a while. But a lot of folks were saying that these looks were just not working for her. So this is how everything first went down. So what happened is that Nicki Minaj's ex-stylist, Tokyo Styles, who left Nicki Minaj to now be Cardi B's main stylist, posted a video of him, you know, doing Cardi B's hair. And one of the barbs came and said that they weren't really feeling it. And so Tokyo Styles ended up going back and forth with the barb. And then she, and he basically said, well, you know what? I'm not feeling Nicki Minaj's thin ass, you know, ponytails. So at that point, Kim Kimball came on there to address the situation and they kind of went back and forth. So when Nicki Minaj seen that, mysteriously, all of a sudden, Kim Kimball was fired. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video, watch this back and forth. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> You guys, can you please do me a favor and tag your favorite um, makeup artist and hairstylist in the New York area?
Honey, did you see that shade at the end when Kim Kimball called out Tokyo Styles for being an unlicensed stylist? So you have a lot of folks out here claiming to be stylists and doing hair on the gram and they haven't even gone to school. And I'm not saying that you have to go to school necessarily to like do hair because a lot of people do hair in their kitchen. But if you want to be a professional, if you want to be taken seriously, then you do need to be licensed in the event somebody sues you or in the event something happens. So Kim Kimball called him out and then shortly after that, a few barbs decided to be petty and they went on to go search and they realized that Kim Kimball and Nicki Minaj had stopped following each other. After that, she decided to go with this guy named Arrogant Tay. That's who a lot of her bars recommended. Arrogant Tay also made this really cool neon green wig for SZA recently and he's been slain in the game. So he was super happy to have Nicki Minaj as his new client. This is what Arrogant Tay had to say. Go ahead and check this out. working. I tried to send you um, a thing, Tay. I'm going to show it to you in a second. What, you want to bring something? Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Safe flight, all right? Oh, I keep forgetting you're not going with us. No, no. I'm catching you in the middle of the week. When's that? Okay. There, there's a newer new boy. Yeah. <laughs> How new is this new boy? Like, barely new. As long as the hair has been on your head? <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw what Arrogant Tay had to say. So like I said, he's super excited, super humble, super grateful. So now as of this morning, the person I've been waiting for to speak on all this fuckery is finally speaking. Kim Kimball is basically low-key addressing the situation. I want you guys to go ahead and check out Kim Kimball's video that she just posted a few hours ago. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey, I'm here to talk to all eagles because eagles soar above pettiness. They don't hang down there with the chickens. I'm an eagle. I fly above pettiness. And I don't let chickens tell me that I'm not an eagle when I know what I am. You are what God says you are, not what others say. All right, so you guys just saw what Kim Kimball had to say. So this entire situation got super messy, and it really didn't need to. At the end of the day, Kim Kimball is an established, well-known hairdresser. She has products at Target. She used to work for Beyonce. She's done hair for some of your most favorite top of the line celebrities you know what i'm saying and some people are saying that her styles are kind of outdated there's a whole new crop of hairstylists on social media and that might be true but at the end of the day her working or not working with Nicki minaj is not going to ruin her empire it's not going to ruin anything that she's built but it's kind of sad that all of this played out on social media and then the way that Nicki kind of went about it was kind of shady as well but i'm glad that kim kimball is taking the high road and she's just going to focus on her business so hopefully Nicki minaj will do good with her new team hopefully arrogant tay will give her a really decent look because like i said i did not like her look especially at the bet awards and so hopefully they'll be able to get her together get her satisfied and get her looking how she wants to look and like i stated i'm sure that kim kimball has moved on from this and she'll be just fine so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you guys feel about the social media drama 
that went on between Nicki Minaj, Tokyo Styles, and Kim Kimball? Do you feel like Nicki Minaj was right to fire her entire glam team and start over again? Or do you feel like she should have gave Kim Kimball another chance? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.